Jace to meet the boys. Hello, Jungle Jason. <whistles> he hasn't. He would normally be backstage with the boys, but um, he's not at the moment. There's no stage back there. Oh, no stage, of course, that's why, OK. Good evening to you at home, and good evening to you. Good evening to the crew. Good evening, Rob. Evening. What? Got a problem? What's that bulge in your trousers? Well, I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Get it out of here. What oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. Just a newspaper. My usual bulge? Yes, you're not your usual bulge. You don't have a bulge. Uh, the Battle of the Bulge. Good evening, Andy Cam. What? I don't know. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Let's try and make this quick. Good evening, Andy Cohen. How are you? Very well. What's that bulge you've got in your trousers there? Uh, my usual bulge. I don't look at his bulge, Rob. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I get embarrassed. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, good evening, Nina. Good evening. Naughty nympho, Nina. Yes, come along now. What's that bulge you've got in your trousers? <laughs> young man. It's a young man, is it? <laughs> what I say. Uh, good evening, it's Robbie. It's hey, Robbie. Hey, hey. Yes, the bulge in the trousers is Robbie. Uh, well, hey, Robbie. Good evening, uh, Craig. Hello, Mum. Hello, hello, Mum. Hello, Craig's Mum. Craig, Mrs. McAllen's watching. McAllen. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Craig McAllen and son. Um, good evening. Thank you for joining us. We've got a fantastic live music for you tonight. One of my favourite albums. This is um, Red Letter Day. This is Buffalo Tom. Great album. If you like guitar, like I like guitar. Uh, that's guitar, by the way, in case you wondered. Uh, good job you told us that. Good job you told us that. Right. Like something else. Hey? Yes, thanks, Rob. <coughs> right. OK, we we'll get on with the show. Um, uh, thank you for faxing us. If you want a fax, so we'll give you the numbers in a minute, but some excellent faxes have come through already, I see. Look at this one, Rob. This is from uh, Wiedmann Ballingen. Hello, Wiedmann. Uh, I suppose that's how you pronounce your name, in Germany. And this is fantastic. Rob, if you'd like to have a look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's me, there's me. Yeah. Have you got it? Yeah. And don't you find this bit really funny? Well, kind of usual, yeah. Yep. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it would help if you laughed at your own jokes. But I've heard them all before. Fit man. <laughs> oh, shut up. You've got, a, you've got a bulge in your trousers. That's a start. Something to start with. Right. What happens then? Oh, no, don't want to know what happens next. And we've also got, thanks for playing Hot in the City yesterday, but uh, this is from uh, the Slovak Republic. Uh, not the Slovak Republic, is it? The Czech Republic and the Slovak... What's the other bit, Nina? Um, I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. The Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic, it might be. Thanks for playing Hot in the City yesterday, but remember we played Hot in the City for, um, what was it, Jane and, it was Jane and Melanie in the Slovak Republic, we thought. We got it all wrong, apparently. What a good researcher Robbie is indeed. The telephone code 042 stands, in fact, not for Slovakia, that's it, Slovakia, but for the Czech Republic. And yes, Robbie, we do have such names as Jane and Melanie. We also have Diana, Robin and Julius, even Alan. So we're sorry about that. And uh, here's a new joke for you, Craig, to try out on the microphones from uh, Jane and Melanie from from the uh, Czech Republic, Jane and Melanie. Right down the bottom there, Craig. That's a new joke for Craig. How many microphones have we got on the show tonight, Craig? Check one, two. Check, yep. Yeah. Check one, two. Check one, two. Slovak, one, two. <laughs> Slovak, not Slovic. I can't read. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks, Jane and Melanie. You ruined your joke for you. And also, uh, oh, well, it was, a, I don't know what it was, a reference to football. Perhaps Andy Cameron, there's no sense to this programme. Don't try to make any. We've got also some more faxes, more faxes for Craig here, but you'll have to stay tuned and find out what they are because you seem to be getting very popular, Craig. Mm. Mm. A couple of very interesting faxes for Craig, but oh, that's after we hear the fax request of the evening, and it's this one here. We've just spoken to our friends in the Czech Republic. We're a European MTV big station, and we're proud of it. All over Europe, wherever there's a television, there's an MTV television. And we're proud of that. And uh, mm, 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 where's the name on this? Mm, mm, mm. Eva. It's Eva from Hungary. We're now going to Hungary, from the Czech Republic all the way to Hungary. Uh, this, she said, I'm a Hungarian girl from Budapest, and I'm a prefab sprout fan. Do you remember that? Yeah. What happened to Prefab Sprout? Where have they gone? Okay. When's the new Take That album coming out? <laughs> Steady. More importantly. Uh, but in Hungary, I can't find their records, but last week I was so happy because on MTV I saw a Prefab Sprout song, Can I See It Again, says Eva. Eva, we presume it's this one because this is the big hit that they had. Albuquerque, Prefab Sprout, just for you. And we'll be back with those tantalisingly different Craig faxes after this. <laughs> Andy's good at punctuating now, you'll get all funny. What's going on in that video, eh? Hot 
dogs jump in frogs, Albuquerque. We don't know what it means, but we think it has some obscure reference to an old sexual practice. But if you let us know, um, then do let us know. An old one. An old one, yeah. Good evening, this is Most Wanted on MTV. Uh, especially tonight, we've got a special guest for you in the studio. Something funny happen? No. No? Not on, no not on this show. Look, can I just say to you, can I just have a quick word with you at home? Um, if you've just tuned in, if you've just bought a satellite dish, you've just uh, bought cable or something, or you've just, uh, well, basically got MTV, I'd just like to remind you that MTV is a music station and M doesn't stand for mirth and comedy. And this is not supposed to be a stand-up comedy show featuring me as a comic artist for one and a half hours. Thank you. So don't expect too many jokes, okay, no, folks? No, your contract, though. Uh, no, Andy Cam. Oh, well, the one that ended recently. Yes. That hasn't been renewed. <laughs> Okay, right, uh, okay, that was for the boys at home. Uh, huh, right, time to get on to the facts. If you want to fax us, um, uh, yes. Rob. Fax number is your international code 44712840505. Do you know what your international code means? Could you just say that quickly? Do you know what it means, your international code? Whatever, whatever code you need in your country to exit your country. You're good at communicating, aren't you? I, know, I, I know bet you have saying, great fun on the holiday. That's why you always go to Bogner on your holidays, because <laughs> you can't communicate with foreign people. OK, uh, I promise you some faxes. Do faxes, please. <laughs> Do faxes, please, because we'd like to hear from you at home. And this is not about faxes, this programme. It's also about letters, people who are writing in. And we're getting on the phone to you at home right now. But first, Craig from Simone Oberg in Germany. Good evening, Simone, the old favourite Simone. I have some questions for Craig, who's increasingly becoming uh, more popular than Rob, the cameraman, who's right. lo losing it. <laughs> and Ray! And Ray! <laughs> and he'll soon have his own show on QVC. <laughs> uh, here we go. When's Craig's birthday? Every year. Every year! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and two, what kind of motorbike does he ride? A big red one. A big red one. Yeah. Throbs between the legs. <laughs> Craig? <laughs> and also, he doesn't ride his motorbike, he leaves it parked in the garage and he rides it when the sun comes out, Simone. You put it here tonight, I saw it. Shh, someone on the boat. Hello? Hello? It's MTV. Hello? Anyone speaking? Yes, yes, MTV for George. It's the international language, isn't it? MTV! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because it's the parents. It's the parents slamming the phone down. We're trying to speak to George from Greece who sent in this lovely envelope. It's lovely. Um, we can't lovely. get it. It is lovely, isn't it? Do you want to have a quick look at that? It's yeah. exciting TV, isn't it? MTV is a fast-paced, action-packed sort of... Uh, it's lovely. Yeah. Do the address for Reddit. Yeah, do the address, Rob. Good idea. MTV's most wanted... Pooh Box 1384 London NW1 8UH. 8. Mm. Someone's there, I think. Hello? And there's nobody there. Fine. Let's carry on with... Um, it's going well tonight. Where's our little signs, Andy Cam? I don't know, they've all gone missing. Oh, they've all gone yes. missing. Anyway, Simone, uh, in the last question, and the most important one of all for Craig, uh, number three. Do he, does he have a girlfriend? Loads of them. Loads of them? Loads of them. He doesn't have any. <laughs> well, in fact, I'll tell you a top secret. Simone. Craig, I think, is going out with... Naughty Nina! No! No! It can't be! I know, Rob, I'm so sorry. I thought, I thought, I mean, I'm in charge of the whole show. I earn millions. I'm funny and good looking. Oh, she wants to share everyone with everyone. Yeah, oh, sorry. Here, put his hand on my mouth then. That's sexual harassment at work. Right. Let's get on to you at home. That's my concrete mix to so make me look young. Hello, it's MTV, full of young and hip people like me. Don't knock it. Thanks, Robbie. Right, right. Trying to phone someone else now in uh, Greece. No. Hello. Hello. MTV. Yeah. Just Bro a moment, please. Thank you. Yay! Yes, Thank we you. got someone. Yeah, yeah. Dad, yeah. hey. No. no. Hey. No, no, no. Definitely not. Sorry, disappointed in naughty Nino. Fancy going out with Craig. I'm a mega star. Uh, hello? I'll say one thing about Craig, and this is all you need. Hello? Would you rather go out with him or, or him? <laughs> Vicky? Uh, 
Yeah. It's MTV calling. Good evening. Hi. Hello. How are I didn't you? Expect I, 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 I didn't expect you would call. I didn't think you would call. Well, don't be silly because you've got a big problem that you need help with, Vicky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not me. No, not me. Vicky, whereabouts in Greece are you living? What? <laughs> where, where in Greece are you living? In Athens. Oh, in Athens. Okay. Has yeah. it been really, really horribly hot today? Yeah. Mm. Terrible. Terribly hot. Now, Vicky? Yeah? What's going on in this photo? <laughs> That was in a five-day trip in Rhodes, and uh, it is me and a friend, and that is a fake whip. It's a what? A fake whip. No, it's not a real one. Okay, all right, uh, okay, fair enough, Vicky. Let's hand it to our whip expert, Naughty Nympho Nina, and she can tell us if it's a real whip. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a real whip. <gasps> oh, so, no, it isn't. Can you explain yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> Good Lord. Rob, you don't know what it means. Good Lord. Thought, it's it? totally innocent. Okay, totally innocent. Now, what's going on in this photo? <laughs> Nothing. It's me and my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Notice Vicky said, me and my dog. Didn't say, me and my dog, Rob, or me and my dog, Craig, <laughs> or me and, <laughs> me my, and dog my dog, Ray. Uh, no, no, no. Have you got a name for your dog yet, Vicky? Not yet. So help me. You, exactly, in your letter, which is here. It's a very nice envelope. Have a look at that, Rob. Oh, yeah. lovely. That's a very nice envelope, isn't it? Do we keep that one? Yep, it's got a nice Greek stamp there. Yes, lovely. And the address. Should we do the address <laughs> while it's here? No. No. Vicky? Yeah? You said you wanted a name for the lovely dog. Yes. Okay, we need to know a bit about him. What's he, is it a he or a her? A her. Her. Uh, uh, a lady dog. Flossy? No. No? Okay. Crazy. What sort of dog? A friendly dog? A uh, violent dog? A very friendly dog. Very friendly dog. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got funny colours eyes, isn't he? Have you seen his eyes, Rob? Uh. No, it's not red. Ah, okay, fine. <laughs> I think that in the picture they seem like red. Oh, uh, yeah. But they're not. Vicky, I'm, I'm just filling in time because I haven't got any ideas yet. Oh. Craig has red eyes all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. Vicky? Yeah? I tell you what, we'll ask each and every one. You can ask whoever you want here in the studio, because I've got no ideas. You can ask whoever you want here to give you a name for your dog. Rob. Rob? Have a look. Have um, a look. Okay. What kind of dog is, he, is her? She? Uh, her. She? What kind, though? What kind of dog? Ah, Canis. It's a Rottweiler. A what? No. Um. Come on, Rob, this is exciting. Fast about, paced MTV. How about Rover? Rambo? Rover? Randy. No. Randy? Randy. No. Craig? Rex. You're useless, Rob. Rex. It's a girl dog. Regina. Regi <laughs> what? It's Latin. I don't know. Carry on. Have you, if you hear any names at all that you like, Vicky, what about Floppy. Big Ben? No. <laughs> uh, Floppy? Floppy? Nina Floppy. the dog? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Fluffy? That sounds nice. Fluffy, Fluffy's Fluffy. close. <laughs> Fluffy's close. Uh, Fluffy. Furry. Fluffy, Furry. Fluffy Furry. Ruffy? Cuddly, curly, Ruffy. Floofy, Fluffy, Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Uh, Puffy, Floofly, Fluff. Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. No. Fluffy's nice. Fluffy. <laughs> Okay. Woolly bully, bully, bully. Vicky? Yeah? <laughs> Bikini. Running out of time. Vicky? Okay. What? Okay. What? okay. We're going to have to call it. Shh. We're going to have to call it. Shh. We're going to call it. Shh. Vicky, Rob, yeah. you'll be out with the rest of them in a minute. Vicky, you're going to have to call him Fluffy, I think. Her. Yeah, it's a nice name, thank you. Yes, we found a name for Vicky's dog. Fluffy, OK. <laughs> uh, do you want to see some Arrested Development now? Oh, yeah. OK, fantastic. Vicky, would there anyone you'd like to dedicate this track to? Um, to you. 
Oh. And to the, uh, to the rest of the crew. Oh, lovely. Vicky, we'll phone you back for the goodie bag, maybe. Okay. You promise? Can you tell us the name of your new dog? Fluffy. Yeah. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> okay, and before we leave you, uh, this is Ease My Mind, especially for you, Vicky. Here's Toby One Kenobi with the latest joke. What has four legs and an arm? Um, I don't know. A Doberman. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky got it. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, Bobby. You'll tell us when we're on, won't you? An old Jake, they must have seen it before. Hello, you're watching Most Wanted Live from London. If we were recorded, we'd edit out all the crap bits and there'll be no show left, apart from our special musical guest tonight, who are Buffalo Tom. This is a brilliant album. If you like guitar, you'll love this album. I was listening to it in the sun today while strumming my guitar. Well, I wasn't strumming my guitar, actually, but I can't tell you what I was strumming, because that's uh, personal. Okay. Steady on, but anyway, Robbie, our top researcher, has got some great uh, research on Buffalo Tom this week. He says, and to perform for us now, Buffalo Tom. Well done, Robbie. Uh, they are a Boston trio, passionate vocals and crunching guitar. Robbie, you should be writing voiceovers for uh, sort of cereals that you eat in the morning. Crunching guitar. They're loud and clunky, but have an ear for harmony choruses. Their fourth album, Big Letter of Joe, was released, blah, 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 and is packed with potential singles. They're heading for success, whether they want it or not, says Robbie. Reluctant stars are always the coolest, says Robbie. This is a Neil Young-inspired smasheroo. This is Soda Jerk, and this is a seriously good band, Buffalo Tom. So check them out if you haven't already. Performing live, especially for MTV's Most Wanted, Soda Jerk. Yes.
Yes, we're normal. Good. Fine. Something important to tell you that we forgot to tell you. Very important. Very important indeed. What, can you see through people's underwear? Yeah. Brilliant. Look your face. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, if you have some of these at home, um, then put them on, because in about five minutes' time, we'll be doing the first... Ah, we're going to do the first ever live via satellite on MTV. Sorry if I'm shouting. You can turn it down, though, or you can turn it off if you don't like me at all. Uh, that's always the choice with the TV, of course. But um, we hope you like us because this is a fantastic, brilliant effect that we are what is all will become clear. If you've got any of these, quick, because I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm so excited. We're going to do the first ever live 3D via satellite experiment here on Most Wanted. So, a 3D effect coming up. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes! Oh. Whoa, look at that. Hey, well, oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Look at this, Rob. Oh, I hope you just haven't oh. taken any LSD, kids. Way, 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 way. And uh, quick, and uh, oh, the old classic. Look out for this, kids. Whoa, there's a stool in your face. Way, way. Yes, and. And we've just got time um, to do this quick one, quick 3D effect. Whoa! Oh, hey! What? What's wrong? No, the effect's gone. Jesus, how did I get up here? Sorry about that, kids. I don't know what happened then. Phew. What happened? As long as that effect doesn't come back, we'll be all right. Did I put these on and something happened? Whoa! Oh, fell off. God, fantastic that is. <laughs> hey, let's market them. Yes. Let's market them all over Europe. I think they've already been marketed. Have they? Yes. Well, let's uh, go and buy them all and then market them again. Market them. Yeah. yeah. You. Market. Thank Camden you. Market them. Camden Market them. Thank you for tuning in from MTV's Most Wanted. Thank you for being there for us when we most need you. Uh, no, careful. It, only it doesn't work on frogs, obviously. OK. Um, dear Sex God, that's me. Hello, Gabby. You're in Israel and says, um, blah, 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 blah. Love the group. Buffalo Tom. Thank you for that. Gabby, we'll try and get you an album or something later on. And to the Sex God also, uh, that's me. And uh, God, you should see me in 3D glasses naked. Yeah. We have done. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> We're two lovely girls yeah. from the Faroe Islands, and I can't phone you up, but good evening to you. Who are what's your name? Oh, no names, no names, no names. Can't you phone them up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Too much for him. It's too George. Much. Yes. It's. I think it's. it's what? George. Yes. It's MTV calling. Oh my God. Oh my sex God. Yes. It's me. <laughs> Not again. I'm constipated. <laughs> what? George. Good evening to you. Uh, good evening. It's me, isn't it? Yes. Oh God. Are you watching MTV? No. Yes, but. Uh, Yes, I can see you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. George. Um, now, George, 
You've got a very... We tried to phone you earlier on, and we think it was your mum who answered the phone. No, I, I answered the phone now. Ah, didn't your please, phone... Please, can you wait a minute? Sure, of course. Where, where are you going? Right, what should we do to fill in? Nina, can we play with your breasts for a while or something? <laughs> it's only when you're on TV you can say that, really, can't you? You can't even oh, say it on TV. Yeah. No, you shouldn't have said that. Nino, I'm very sorry, darling. You've blown it now. Yes. George! I I'm very sorry, I got my VCR on. Oh, it's OK, good, thank God you've come back because I was getting into a disgusting conversation with naughty nympho Nina. Yeah, I saw you with Nina. She's a brilliant girl. She's a lovely Don't girl. Here. She's a lovely girl, isn't she? She is. Nina, you're lovely. Yeah, thank you. She is. She's seriously a very nice person. Now, George, from Greece. Yes. You sent in this rather serious letter. And do you want to read it, or shall I read it, George? Uh, I don't... Actually, yesterday I sent you another letter. You know, I got a little desperate because I thought I, I would never be able to be on MTV. You know, I'm a Greek guy, you know, and it's very difficult to be on MTV if you're Greek. You I know... Is it? I think so. Actually, many kids in Greek in Greece, uh, think about, you know, getting an MTV is very difficult. Really? Come on. Well, I, do, I don't think so. I tell you what, we do have a problem with, George. Yeah. We get a lot of letters from Greece, but every time we try and phone, all the Greek people seem to be out in the bars not watching MTV. Yeah, uh, that's Greece, you know. Yeah, you see? Yeah. We, the Mediterranean guys, you know. <laughs> I know, George, I know the Mediterranean guys. You take your girlfriend down to Greece and you come back without a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you think it's funny, all these Mediterranean boys going, ho ho, stupid, oh, yeah. stupid North Europe people. <laughs> you are now, George, yes. um, it's, listen, you've got some serious things to say about Europe and about that some, sometimes down in Greece you feel a little bit not part of Europe because the people up here mm -hmm. forget Greece. Do you want to say something about that? Yeah, I think that sometimes you, the people in North Europe, for, for example, you <gasps> Who cut him off? Toby Wan Kenobi, that's disgusting. We... Right, OK, I'll tell you what we'll do. In a panic situation like this, we just remain calm. We'll call him back, we'll call him back, we'll get him back on the line. George, if you're still watching, you probably are, aren't you? I'm sorry, George, we've lost the phone connection, but we'll play your most wanted video, which is here on your list here. Uh, Naughty Nina, can you help me out, possibly? Aerosmith, Janie's got a gun, perhaps? Oh, yes. OK, sorry. Aerosmith, Janie's got a gun, especially for you, George, and we're sorry about the interphone link. We'll get back to you and you can talk seriously about Europe because we want to talk seriously about Europe as well as do bottom jokes on this show. <laughs> so thank... And breast jokes. And breast jokes. Thank you very much indeed. Um, equal opportunities for all. George, this is especially for you. We'll phone you back, mate. Perfect! Hello, and uh, welcome back to the show, and, uh, well, OK, all right, kids, settle down. We'd like to sincerely apologise for some of the remarks made by tonight's presenter on MTV's Mace Wanted. Some of the particular jokes about female anatomy and games thereof. And uh, we'd like to apologise for that, and we're sorry, we're sorry. You know, I only try and make you have a little bit of smile at the end of the day, and sometimes I go a bit too far, and I'm sorry, Mum. And I will note say it again, because my mum's been on the phone, and my dad has too. And, uh, mind you, they were doing all those sort of rude things, weren't they, to make me? So I don't know what they're on about. They weren't talking about it on television. <laughs> no, Rob, you creep. Right, no, OK. Really. Just we're like very we sorry, all right. Me. Every boss watching, we're really sorry. Rob loves you very much. <laughs> right, Rob? Yeah. Lovely. Stand up against authority, I think. <laughs> right, uh, look at that. Stand up against authority. <laughs> right, <laughs> we've got a great competition tomorrow. Do we have a little roll in or, or not? We do, in fact. Tomorrow night is Friday night, and in fact, we've got tomorrow night. Craig, what are you looking at me like that for? I'm on the. You know, can't you look over there? He's looking at me going, he's not funny. I'm not going to give him any jokes. <laughs> look at him suffering. <laughs> That's what he's standing there going, with a beer, mm, cigarette, mm, mm, rubbish. Anyway, uh, it's the audience, that. Anyway, that's the audience. Good evening to you at home. Thank you for joining us on MTV. And tomorrow night, if you join us, as always, on a Friday evening, we'll have a fantastic competition. Also tomorrow night, by the way, we've got those people who go, I like to move it, move it, move it, move it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, eh? 
I'm Removal Men and the dancers as well. So Real to Real featuring the Mad Stuntman. Is that it? Is Mad Stuntman? Is it? Yeah, well, yeah. Sorry. And uh, yes, and all of those people on tomorrow night's show. Also, a fantastic, I'm sorry about this, if you've tuned in, we seem to have a cross line with Andy Cam, Rob and Craig's show. Perhaps we go a bit of quiet now. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. Thank you. Much cheaper than Ray. Okay. Remember Andy Cam? It's my show. <laughs> Anyway, I made you what you are today. Yes, uh, tomorrow night's competition will be fantastic. Do you want me to tell you about it? No, of course you don't. It'd be boring and ridiculous and stupid, and I'll probably say rude things. So here we go. Here's someone else to tell you about tomorrow night's fantastic competition. In this week's fantastic most wanted competition, Inner Circle won a rock with you and a friend backstage at this summer's Reggae on the Rocks Festival in Denver, Colorado. Yes, it's VIP treatment all the way to the US of A for this week's cleverest contestant. Roots Rhythm Rubber Dub Styley Man. My friend, find out what's on your mind. That's fantastic. Thank you, Jungle Jason. And of course, uh, do you get to meet the boys backstage? He always seems to. But, uh, well, tune in tomorrow night. You could be doing all of that for absolutely free. Well, the cost of a phone call. Let's get on the phone to you at home. If you'd like to write in, request your most wanted video, share your opinions on Europe. George, by the way, we're going to phone you back for the goodie bag competition so you can have your little say then. If you'd like to say anything to us, um, anything at all, uh, like uh, Rob the cameraman makes irresponsible jokes about Nina, then write to this address, please. Oh. Nina has to do it now, Rob. Yes. Nina? Yeah. Can you come and read your dress out, please? Yes, of I respect you as a woman, you know. Oh, okay. That. MTV's You're most great. wanted. Shh. P. O. Box Shh. One. Hang on a minute. What? Hello? Hello? Oh. Can you wait a second, Greed? <sighs> All right. Thank you. Carry on, Nina. P. Box 1384, London, NW1, 8UH. No, not 8UH, is it? Come on. 8UH. 8UH. Just what was that? I don't. Eh? I what? Down England. I'm going to get in trouble now, aren't I? Being irresponsible with sex jokes and things. Yeah. yeah. Not for the first time. Thanks, Naughty Nina. Now, let's talk to the person at home on the phone. Thanks, Naughty Nina. Nina. Hello, Raymond. Great. What's happening? Hey, how are you? Fine, thanks. Listen, we phoned you last night. We're phoning... I know. I'm sorry I wasn't home last night. Oh, no. You know what's going to happen with Greek, don't you? I know. But we watched a soccer game. Belgium. Were they? Did I watch them? Belgium against Morocco? No. Belgium against Saudi Arabia? Yeah. And we lost. I know. <laughs> you know why? I don't know. Because Belgium's crap at football. <laughs> Oh, no, they're pretty good. I know they are. I support Anderlecht and I like lots of people like Schifo and Van der Elst and Prudhomme and things. Yeah. And we watched them in a local cafe. Did you? Yeah. No. And then afterwards I sat on a terrace and had some lemon Geneva, so... Oh. I didn't watch you last night. I'm very sorry about that. And we had to speak to your mum and dad. I know. I'm really... They were really... They didn't know who you were. Of course not, no. <laughs> it was <laughs> hilarious. This morning at breakfast there. they go... Oh, um, there was this English chap who called last night who wanted to talk to you. And what did you say? Got no clue who he is. Is that a funny person who pushes, pushes his nose against the screen all the time? <laughs> Me? I yeah. thought I was sexy and handsome. <laughs> so, Greet. Mm hmm. Why do you have such a wonderful accent and it's almost a little bit American? I know. I've, I've lived in America for a year as an exchange student. Ah. Uh -uh. As an exchange student? Yes. Mm. Well, your accent mm -hmm. should not be allowed to people under the age of 18, Greed. Why? Because it's sexy. Ooh. Yeah, no, another sexist comment oh. coming on. Hey. And here he goes. Too much of anything. It's not good for you, really. Greed. Oh. Yeah. But no, he's gone weird. <laughs> he's gone weird. I don't know about that. There's been a time that we've loved and We've shared love Shared and love. made love. Yeah. It doesn't seem it doesn't to me seem like it's like enough. I can't go on. I can't do it. I can't do it. Best bit of the record. Quick. My darling, I can't get enough of your love, man. <laughs> 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 
What are right. you doing? Well, Greek thought I was sexy, didn't you, Greek? Yeah. yeah. My whole family's laughing at you, but you were really sexy. <laughs> oh, you <were> sexy. <laughs> right. <sighs> <sighs> come on in. Come on in and come right. on down. Greek, thank you for sending all of these fantastic things in your envelope. Firstly, Greek, would you like to tell Europe what's on this photo here? That's Raymond in his favourite and only blue jacket. <laughs> on every corner of the street in Belgium. Who yeah. thinks he's going to be president of Belgium? <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, all right, enough of the attitude. I just asked you what the photo was. <laughs> um, That's, in fact, on the Humente Credit. And yeah. I didn't get paid any money. I just did you it for charity. You got a million bucks for that. I did it for charity. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> and look at this. Ooh. <laughs> yes, Rob, look at this bit up here, if you wouldn't mind. Which bit's that then? Rob! <laughs> Who's that? Greet. Yeah, that's you, like right next to two pairs of. Two pairs? Breasts. <laughs> don't say breasts, <laughs> we get in terrible trouble. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you know, it's all right for you to say, I'll get in trouble now. <laughs> now, I think it, this was in a magazine called Flair, wasn't it, Greek? Yeah. And I must say, don't you think these are the sexiest photos you've ever seen of me? Um, Look at not that. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, at six in the morning. <laughs> I mean, maybe older women in Belgium would like them and... Older women in Belgium, you think, would like them? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> How old are you, Greet? I'm 26. Almost. Well, well you're quite an old woman. Oh. Just getting my revenge. Baby. Right? Baby. <laughs> it's a seriously sexy girl, is Greet. That's terrible. Right, uh, anything else in your envelope that we should be looking at? Mm. How about the article? Not, not that article, the other one. Which article? The one you're talking about, Rob. Ah, okay, right. Ah, I've got enough time. Okay, what am I saying about Rob here in this Flemish article? <gasps> there you are, Rob. No. Yes, there's a photo Wait. of you there. I've got it. Great. I want me to translate it. Yes, please. You say Rob looks very attractive. He's in his early twenties and he's very nice. Oh. And um, he's like what you hear in the show. And you would want to be more people to be like Rob. Oh, oh. oh you. He looks at the way he looks oh. at the world in an innocent way. He, he looks without in a... being stupid. <laughs> That's what Greek thinks of you, Rob. And Rob uh, doesn't have a good way to handle women. He doesn't have a lot of self-confidence. I'm sorry, Rob. I didn't mean that. to say all this in the interview. How could you be so truthful? <laughs> and once he did, once I did something cruel, I asked some girls to write in because he doesn't have a girlfriend. And he now he gets almost half as much letters as I do. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He and does. every time when someone boring's on the phone, I just put him through to Rob. And I, and I make them look interesting. <laughs> and he doesn't seem to manage with anything right about it, say anything right. Fantastic. That's a, so I'm sorry about that. But it's not me because I don't speak Flemish and this is all in Flemish. So I, I didn't know. give this interview. And there's some other things you said. Like, I want my woman to be attractive, have a sense of humour. Ah. She has to have um, a love life. She has to evaluate in the relationship. She has to find out new things. Aren't we a little bit too demanding here, Raymond? A little bit what? Great. Too demanding. Too demanding? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How can you explain <laughs> that from a woman who'd go out with you? Not me. I don't ask anything. I just like a little smile, Greet, and that's perhaps I could be married just to a lady who would smile all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, my present girlfriend is a really big fat person and just got a lovely smile and I don't care. How come I don't believe you? 
<laughs> and I have some other things, other things in the article. I'm sure that other people would like to hear about that. Oh, very quickly then, because I'm getting told, shut up, Ray, you stupid old man. So, <laughs> so oh, look at my hair's falling off. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, great, quickly then, tell us anything else interesting in this Flemish article in Flair. Oh, wait a second. And then you go, um... It's horrible when you do interviews and, and you say things and, and, and then change them. Um, was your nightlife the most precious memory of Belgium? No, my most precious memory were the weekends I spent at the beach. Ha. If I wanted to get away for a while, I always stayed alone. I don't think so. In a friend's apartment. From a, and I rode a bike from yep. a stand to Middlecap. I did! I love the Belgian coastline. It's fantastically beautiful. Have you ever been there? Yeah, of course. I go there all the time. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then you, you write that you're this party animal. I went dancing every Friday and Saturday. You really think we believe that? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Look, OK, Greet, we've, we've got to go. All right. It's, oh, I want to speak, I want to speak to Greet some more. Uh, <laughs> Rob, yeah. I want to speak to Greet some more. Now, Greet. A funny coincidence has happened tonight. What? One of those weird coincidences. You asked for Buffalo Tom. I know, and I saw them. You wanted to and see them. They're the... coming to Belgium. They're coming to Toro Tverechter. I, I was supposed to say that at the end of the show. Oh, I'm sorry. They'll be in Toro Vector this weekend. And are you going to be there? Mm, I don't think so. Don't think so. Okay, it's listen. too crowded. Well, should we find you back for the goodie bag? Oh, I'd love to be in a goodie bag. I'd love you to be in a goodie bag, too. <laughs> 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 OK, uh, great. Yeah? You can't see your most wanted video because we're going to get them to play it for you specially. Oh, that would be brilliant. They're going to play. I will, they were going to play the song you asked for at the end of the I'm show. I'm allowed. Yep. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I know. I'm just friend to the stars. I can make them do things. Great. We'll phone you back for the goodie bag. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. See you later. Good night. Good night. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, look! Um, um, <laughs> there's a bucket, there's a bucket behind there, okay? I'm only a human... There's a sand bucket, there's a fire! Yeah, I'm a human being and I'm live on MTV and you can't... I can't just go out to the toilet, can I? Because I've got a microphone on and people will microphone it and record it and then they'll be really embarrassing. You're disgusting! Right. Next thing you know, you'll be doing jokes okay. about breasts. And it's not funny. Rob, you're making everyone take notice of that joke that wasn't funny in the first place. Now, let's get on with it now, because we've got a goodie bag to do, and uh, we've got two lovely people who we spoke to earlier. We can't always speak to everyone, so what we had to do is we had to throw it up in the air and catch the letters as they came down, and Naughty Nina has, in fact, decided which ones they are. And um, we can't phone everyone, sorry about that, but we have phoned two people we're speaking to, spoken to this evening. Firstly, we spoke to George in Greece. Good evening, George. Hello. Hello, George. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course. We can't hear you very well. Uh, well, you know, it's the Greek Telephone Company. Greek Telephone Company. <laughs> Crap. Well, George? Yeah? I don't know what happened to uh, the Greek Telephone Company before, but we lost you. And listen, this stuff you want to say about Europe and Greece being left out is really important to us here on MTV. So do you want to talk about it? Yeah, of course. I'll just tell you one thing, though. There's one problem, George. <laughs> We've got... I spent so long on the phone with Sexy Greek tonight that, in fact, we haven't got much time left, so you've got 30 seconds. Is that OK to say everything you want to say? Well, I would like to say... 30, hang on a minute, Greg. Go on, hang on a minute, George. 30 seconds clock. Starting. Go for it, George. I would like to say that we're also part of Europe. Don't consider us as aliens. Please, we need that. We, lead, we feel a little alien, you know, out of Europe. We, we feel forgotten by everyone. Please, consider us European. Because we are European. When we have this wonderful culture, you were in the caves. Remember that. We are now a little bit down. It's not our fault. It's our politicians. Talk about that ending, George. That wasn't the right ending for George's speech there. Anyway, George. Yeah? I tell you what, you're quite right, but the problem is, I mean, there's going to be millions of North Europeans going down to Greece now on holiday. Hotly, hotly. Holiday. Yeah. So, I mean, I think yeah, I know what you mean. Now, listen, we, all, we always phone up Greek people and we all we love Greek people and you're all part of our big family, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, George? 
Yeah. Okay. Now, George, spread Greek friendship up to Belgium and say hello to Sexy Greet. Hello. Hello, Belgium. I wish you wouldn't talk. Hey, that. Greece. Hello. I almost went on vacation in Greece, but I decided to go to Egypt. Well, Greece is a wonderful cruise. place. When did you come again? Yeah. George. Yeah. We think going to Greece is a better idea than going yeah, to Egypt. It's really cheap. It's only four hundred pounds. Too many mosquitoes in Egypt. How can how can you go there? <laughs> come on, Greece. Come on. I would love to come out, though. Well, you're you welcome. Always welcome. For to free. Greece. George, <laughs> quick, quick. Greet has just said she'd love to come down to Greece if you invite her. Quick, George. Come on here, it's a wonderful place. Please, please, we have wonderful beaches. All is wonderful. Minister you know, tourism. everything, everything. Everything is great. So. You've learned from this. Well, have you got any water beds, George? What? Water beds. Yeah, everything, everything, everything. Yes. <laughs> great. But I already booked my vacation. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I do. Uh, I did my best, George. Thank you, Ray. You are, you are the great man. Oh, you are the greatest. Oh, George, well, I mean, I, I tried for you, but listen, you're in the goodie bag, George. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Uh, no, to Nina. Can we have the goodie bag, please, darling? It's behind you, sweetie. I respect you as a woman, you know. Yes, of course, dearest. Okay. Wow. George! Yeah? This is what you could win tonight. You, you, and you get all these sort of, oh, a new white version for the summer. This is what you could win. Ooh, wow, it's wonderful. beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing, Greet. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's really right. beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Can we speak to Greet all night long, please? <laughs> Thanks. No. no, sorry, we have to get on with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, George, would you like to make an animal noise, please? Yeah, I would like to be a dog. A dog? Go on him. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Yes, it's a Greek dog, a bit hot in the sun, and great. I wanted to be a dog. Well, you can't always be what you want in life. Um, uh, how about a chicken? A what? A chicken? A chicken. Go on then. <coughs> Fantastic. Hey, Chris, be quiet. Let's listen to Greet's chicken. God, you could have some fun with Greet on a late <laughs> night, couldn't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> OK, two minutes. Let's have the two-minute clock. Good luck to both of you. Very easy questions. Good luck, George. Good luck, Greet. Two minutes starting now. It's time once again to get all the family. Greet, get your mum and dad, who don't know who I am, to look at this and... Guess the select! Who's this famous person? Thanks, boys and girls in the studio. You made that brilliant for me. Who's... God, that's brilliantly done. Um, stars in a film about a superhero. da 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 Michael Keaton. Yes, Michael Keaton. Very good. Uh, chicken noises too, Greet. OK, my pen's broken. Look, that's what happens when you talk to Greet. It might drive you mad. OK, name this video we've taken off the music. Quick, Rob! What? Take that. Which song? Well, babe, babe. Yes, it's George. George, uh, one each, I think. One each, that'll be fair. OK, unscramble this anagram. Go in, Rob, I'll cover you. I'm in. Get in. I harm toes. Big American band. Rocking. Been on the most... Aerosmith. Aerosmith, yes! Oh, oh, God. George, you're going to have to be quick now. OK, watch this video and I'll ask you a question. I'll cover you. Quick, get in. Hey, I'm coming in. Crying. No, it's, uh, the question is, and set by Robbie, how many stripes were there on Slash's Two. car? Two. George, you said two. What did you say, Greet? I said two. Two each. One Me point. Too. Okay, one point each. Absolutely. I would never guess that. It's time once again to get in, Rob. We'll cover you from behind. Guess, guess the slam. Hey, Craig. <laughs> Who's this? Ooh. Um, very happily married, allegedly, to um, a model. What? What? Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Oh, yes, George. I think George got one with the delay there as well. We'll have to give one point to him, too. One point each. Name this video. Quick, Rob. Get in, you brave man. Who's this? We'll start to say we're finished. It's from I.M. Man on the Moon. 
And what did you say, George? Uh, I said the same thing. You said the same thing, didn't you? I think we're going to have to give two goodie bags away tonight because it's just yeah. two. Uh, yeah. Great. Hang on. Hang on, George. Yeah. Yes. We have the whole family gathered up here. We are a happy Greek family. Thank you, MTV. You're great. Hang on. You've just uh, spent the whole budget for next series. OK, fine. Who cares? Greet, you've got a goodie bag, and George, you've got a goodie bag too. Yeah, I will be Greek. Lovely. Uh, how do you say good evening and goodbye in Greek, George? What, what? How do you say goodbye in Greek? Goodbye? Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Yes, it's uh, George. Uh, have a can fantastic... I something? Can yeah. I tell you something? Quick. Uh, well, you have this card there with the Greek words. Yes. Can you say something? Please, please, please. No, I something. can't. I haven't got time. But I can't. I've tried to do it, yeah, George. Yeah, yeah. But it's too complicated. Look, Greek, 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 Greek. Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. Hebrew, Swedish, Russian. Greek! OK. Uh, uh, Kalimera. Yeah, Kalimera. Yeah. <laughs> and I can also say yes. Nai. Ne, no, ne. not nai, ne. Ne, and I could say goodbye, uh, yabu. Yasu, yeah. Yasu. Great. <laughs> George, yasu, and have a fantastic summer time. Yeah, I will. Thank you for watching, George. Bye. Bye, mate. Thank you. Uh, great. Hey, Raymundo. Cancel your holidays. Come and live with us in the studio. Great. Oh, I'd love to. OK, well, we'll see you next week, I then. I already paid my vacation, though. Oh, well, Rob will pay you back. <laughs> really? No. Not I'll be really. over there next week. But you're always welcome. That song live here in MTV's Most Wanted studio. Ready to go, Buffalo Tom. And they're looking forward to Tour Out and Vector this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, probably the best festival in, in Europe, I reckon. Have you ever played there before? No. Nope. You're going to love it. It's great. It's a great festival. Two out and Vector, go along and support Buffalo Tom if you haven't bought your tickets already. Here is the album. It's brilliant. It's really very good. And before we go, I'll just say hello to everyone who's faxed in. Sorry we can't say hello to everyone, but hello from Macedonia, Dijan Bileski. Hello, Macedonia and Kiss Radio. And hello to our most northernmost viewer tonight in Tromso in Norway. That's uh, Froda. And also, if you haven't had a laugh tonight, look at this. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Stay safe. Bye. Here's Buffalo Tom. Check it out.
a car wreck Watch them dripping off highway ramps She came to me smiling Her heart underneath both her That is all right.